So here's a trick question. Do you know who else hates the Fantastic Four reboot other than me, most of you, and the director? Well, you probably figured it out by the title of the video, but Doctor Doom himself, Tony Kebble, also doesn't like this movie. Now, of course, he's got to play studio politics, but even before the movie came out, we've heard, uh, you know, some mumblings about him and how he wanted to do this and that and how the movie was changed and kind of uh, some of the displeasure that he had on the set of that movie. But let's get into what he said here regarding the reception of the Fantastic Four. So Tony Kebble goes on and says, I was disappointed, but the fans aren't wrong. The fans want what they want to see, and if they don't get satisfied, they'll let you know. I appreciate that as a performer. My job is to come in and perform as best as I can and hopefully be directed in that path. And I felt like I was. I feel that the film was going to go well. It didn't turn out that the fans felt that way, so their reaction is honest. I can only appreciate honesty. And then he goes on and says, I don't know if I learned anything from Doom apart from perhaps if I see something that don't agree with to voice that immediately. And then he goes on and talks about some of the obvious um, if there was problems on set and things like that, how everything should be voiced and how his career could be impacted by these things for not speaking out and things like that. So obviously, you know, Tony Kebbell, uh, I I've said it before, I think he's a great actor. You know, after I saw him as Koba in the uh, second Apes movie, I thought he killed it. You know, he looks like he's going to be amazing in Warcraft next year. But everybody seems to have one of these movies where uh, everything just goes wrong. And this seems to have been his, you know, it's not his fault, you know. You're directed away, and if the director fails to direct you a good way or fails to get what he wants across, and then especially if the studio steps in and messes everything up, it's really unfortunate because, you know, there's a lot of good actors in this movie. And they all effectively got, you know, shit on. And, uh, you know, the, the crowd, obviously us, we did not respond well. We did not even want this movie to exist, you know, for one reason for another. And it just sucks that a bunch of great actors got stuck in here. And it, it's, you know, interesting how he goes on and he says the fans aren't wrong because, you know, he's dropped plenty of hints that he didn't even like this movie or where it was going, but no one listened to him. So now we got that. So you guys let me know your thoughts on this down below. So thank you for watching the video. If you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out some of these other great videos we have on the channel. Just click the annotation right there. It'll take you to them. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one.